What's going on guys? Jacob Borth back here with another video of Jacob's Life in Vegas coming to you guys with another real estate video again with Lacey. Hey, hey. The Las Vegas gal. And she's making her appearances on the channel to help out and talk about real estate stuff here and to help a lot of you have questions about real estate. So here's one we're going to go through because she has done this plenty of times. Yes. We're going to talk about the home buying process, okay? So when you come here to buy in Clark County, Las Vegas, North Las Vegas, Henderson, right? <clears throat> here in Southern Nevada, she's going to give us the home buying process because uh, it might be a little different from where you live right now. Yes. So we get a lot of requests that come through just from the videos that we do. People mm -hmm. fill out the form and they, they want to know what to do. And the, the number one thing that I try to do with people is I try to do a phone call mm -hmm. because I want to get to know them. I want to hear their story. I want to figure out what their timeline is, all the stuff that goes into it. But really the process of buying a house is just about four or five steps. Um, to even start the process, it's really important that you know what your budget is. So um, my first thing is, let me talk to you. Let me figure out your goals. Let me figure out your timeline. If your timeline's within the next six to nine months, I always say, hey, let's get you pre-qualified mm -hmm. for a loan with a local loan officer here. And I have an amazing lady. She's like a wizard um, that I usually refer people to because at the end of the day, like I need somebody that I know is going to be able to help my clients and mm -hmm. help them work through credit issues, help them understand what's going to be needed at the time of closing, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. So you got to get pre-qualified. A lot of realtors, including myself, are not real keen on walking you around and looking at houses until we know that you're qualified to buy that level of a home. It's just time is money, right? We want right. to make sure we're not wasting your time and certainly don't want to waste our own time. So get qualified. Well, first of all, intro call. That's important with me. <laughs> then get qualified. Uh, the qualification process can take anywhere from two to one to two days. It just depends on if you have the information that they're looking for at hand. So like typically it's, what do you make? Can you send me your taxes? Um, let them run your credit. And then usually with two or three things like that, they can run it. They can tell you kind of what you qualify for. And if you want to tinker it, um, you guys can work together and make that happen. Okay. So that's step one and that's step two. All right. And we're on to number three. Yes. Yeah, so step three, <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> like step, step three is, um, you know, so now we know how much you can qualify for. And again, it depends on your timeline. If you are wanting to move within the next four to five months, mm -hmm. we need to start looking today. Because sometimes, you know, if you're picky, you don't know what you're gonna, you know, you, you gotta get an idea of what you're looking for. So that's where we sit and qualify. Okay, now we know how much you can spend. Let's pull what's available for that amount. You tell me how many rooms you need. Do you need a pool? What kind of, t what part of town are you gonna live on? You know, all of that. Mm -hmm. We, it's, you know, buying a house is the process of elimination. Okay, a lot of people think it's, let me see everything that's available. No. Yeah. It's the process of elimination. We want to eliminate the ones that do not work for you. That's Otherwise, <laughs> you're going to go around for like 100 hours and not and be that you, after fourth house, you're like, I don't even remember what the last one was, right? Yeah, so thousands of homes here in the Las Vegas yeah. area. So yeah, yeah. So eliminate the ones that don't work for you. If you need five bedrooms, then we are not going to look at four bedrooms. How's that? Or three <laughs> bedrooms. How's that? So something just very cut and dry. Um, so that's when we have fun. You know, we've got the, the letter from the loan person. We've got it in hand. We're ready to go. We're going to go out and we're going to um, put you on an email drip campaign to show you houses that have hit the market mm -hmm. and, um, and what's going on. And then if right. you see some that you like, we schedule a time to go out. If you're from out of state and you know, you're coming in town for a weekend and you want to look at houses, mm -hmm. we schedule the time and we just bust through it and look at the houses. And then, um, <laughs> the goal is if you find one you like, we act immediately. House, the housing market is up and down. You never know. Um, if you really find one that's like, this is it, don't wait too long because they have a tendency to go pretty quickly here in Vegas. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, you have, We have no shortage of people coming to move here, whether it's good economy or bad economy. <laughs> yep. People just keep coming on in from other states. I love it. I love it. All day. It's my <laughs> I'm, favorite. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Got to do that part. Right, next step in the process. So say, so we find the house that you want and um, you, we all agree we're going to put an offer on it. They're asking for X. You're going to offer Y, whatever that, whatever we want to do. We send the offer. If they accept the offer, which almost never happens the first round, they usually counter offer with mm -hmm. something, right? Unless you offer full price with no, no issues. Mm -hmm. um, so you go back and forth a little bit with the contract process. The contract process can take anywhere from 72 hours to a full week. It just depends on is the owner out of state? Is the owner um, somebody who wants to look at multiple offers and they don't, you know, th there's like a, everything, everybody is different. Mm -hmm. um, but really, you know, it, once you make that offer and if it gets accepted, you're in contract, baby. Then it's like, <laughs> you got to give your down payment, which is usually three to $5,000 um, for the larger homes, more expensive homes. It's seven, 10, sometimes times more. Mm -hmm. um, they want to know you're serious, right? So your, jo your job is to go write a check or do a wire transfer, which I will walk through, of mm -hmm. course, through the escrow company. And then, uh, then it's, that's when I really do the hard work. You know, that's yeah. when like, it's okay. We got to make sure the house is inspected. We got to, it's, it's 
all of that. So um, really, up until you find the house and they accept the offer, um, it's all kinds of fun. And then after that, you kind of just sit back and you let your realtor do their job mm -hmm. and uh, they'll come to you when they need you to uh, for things like, um, we need to get the house appraised. We need to get, you know, the loan officer is going to ask for you to pay for an appraisal so we can make sure it's worth what you're paying and all of the stuff that goes along with it. So the work really splits. Once you make an offer and it's accepted and you're in contract, your work becomes getting qualified for sure for that loan and providing anything the loan officer needs to make sure that the loan's going to go through. My job is to make sure that the house process and the inspections and all that happens in a timely manner. Okay. And then if someone's, I mean, trying to buy a home here in mm -hmm. Las Vegas, I guess the best thing they can do with you is just to make sure that they're on top of communicating with you and getting back to you right away. Yeah. And I think, I think it's, um, it's super important to build a really good relationship. So that's, I think what I do best is I, I, call, if you tell me you're thinking about moving to Vegas, even if you're not buying, I'm going to call you. That's the, t or I email you and I try to set up a call. Like it's yeah. super important to start that relationship early. I'm a big believer that it's more on the real, realtor's um, side mm -hmm. to be more communicative. It's my job to communicate. Um, but yeah, if you're not answering your phone or your emails and mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on, then we're in trouble. So it's all based on the relationship for sure. Okay. And then this whole process, I mean, you know, I'm sure you said every case is different, yep. but the whole process, I mean, from the first phone call mm -hmm. to, you know, they got the keys to the house. How, how much long? Time? Yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. it so it really does depend, and only because what if they don't find the house that they like right away, right. right? So if you were to find the house on the first day that we go out, so from phone call to the end of it, it could be ninety days. It could be the fastest it could be is thirty days. Mm -hmm. The more likely timeline is ninety days to a little bit further out than that. Yeah, right. and and again, if you're from out of state and you're visiting in March, obviously from the first phone call to even when you start coming three four months later. Yeah. Is a, is a long timeline, but it, it, it's all about finding the house. So I really, like the clicker or the ticker that's mm -hmm. timing us really should kick off when we find the house that you want. Cause okay. that's, and then from the time you find the house you want, it could be 30 or 60 days beyond that, that you move in, so, which is really cool. Okay. So some people watch my channel, they tell me they're like, you know, they love watching the videos cause you know, but they're not going to move here for two years, yeah. three years, five years, 10 years when they retire. Yeah. So I love that. So if they're years out, how, how far in advance do you think it's a good idea for them to start looking or contacting you or very good question i think contact me regardless contact jacob regard like we have a form fill it out i don't care if you're two years out let's start the conversation now only because something might change you might have a, a, a big promotion at your job and you've got a little extra cash you might want to buy a little sooner and rent it out and until you can move in lots and lots of different opportunities for for you to make sure that you're watching the market early um, i'm not a high pressure person if you want to just get into my database and start getting my emails and getting information from me that's cool too so um, if you're wanting to move within the next nine months, you need to call me yeah. yesterday. Um, if you are two, three years out, fill out the form and I'll be in touch and we can start building that relationship now. Okay. So even if, you know, you're of ways out, it's still worth it to yeah. take a look and see what's available. You want, it's not even what's available. It's more like keep an eye on the market, right? Mm -hmm. And also know your people, right? So if we have two years, like if you're not coming for two years, you now at least have a new friend in Las Vegas who you can call for advice and you, oh, I'm thinking about this. Oh, I heard this news story because you know stuff always happens in Vegas. Yes. Right? This, yes. Is that going to affect when I buy it? Like, so you want to have that one person you can go to. You don't want to be searching for someone like in the middle of a crisis or wanting to like get answers right away. You want your person in your pocket. And that's so why I think building that relationship starting now makes a huge, huge difference because when you're ready, you just pick up the phone and you show up and everything works fine. You're not starting from scratch. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, you did a pretty good job covering the home buying Thanks. process. Thanks. I could go on for hours. There's a lot of other stuff that happens, but I'm trying to keep it high level. Yeah. Right. And hit the high points that people are yeah. going to need. Yeah. Okay. So is there anything else you wanted to mention in the process? Think uh, you did a good no, job? I think, I think I, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Someone's going to comment. I'm a realtor and you missed this. And I'm going to go, I don't know. Sorry. I'm trying my best. It's all good. So guys, remember, if you're looking to move here to buy a home, whether you live here in Nevada right now, or whether you're moving from, you know, another state or another country, go ahead form is down below. You can get a hold of Lacey, right? You can get a hold of her there. Also, you know, you can find her on her social media accounts and there's plenty of ways to get a hold of her. She will help you out. She's the one who does a lot of this. You guys have been following me for years, some of you, and it's just a lot of stuff for me to try to manage and keep track of. So it's great. I'm to here have, to help. <laughs> yeah, it's great to have Lacey take care of this kind of stuff because you can talk to her directly and she can take you through the whole process, you know, however you need it just for your particular mm -hmm. situation. And I also want people to know what Jacob is kept in, in the know. So if you fill out that form and I start building a relationship, 
relationship with you, he knows. He, he's yeah. fully aware of it. I make sure he knows, hey, I got another person every day. <laughs> and uh, and I want to make sure that you guys know, like, I, I'm not just taking you and running. Like, it, this is a, a mutually, you know, agreed upon kind of thing that we're working together. And I just wanted to help because I know you had so many people reaching out to you. I'm happy to jump in and help. Exactly. So, guys. Get in touch with Lacey. Link is down below. Looking to buy a home in Vegas, Henderson, North Las Vegas, anywhere here in Southern Nevada. She will definitely do what she can to help you out, okay? So this is Lacey. I am Jacob. This is my life in Vegas.